Do you want to know how amazing people connect? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to Marketing with Russ, aka hashtag Russ Selfie. like what you hear, please share. Special thank you to our sponsors, the Alzheimer's Association and the Walk to End Alzheimer's. The Mid Willamette Valley Walk is September 25th at Timberland Park in Albany, Oregon. Registration starts at 10 a.m. For more information, go to ALZ.org. And Mortgage First Corporation and Jamie Yaney. For all your mortgage needs, email Jamie at jbecker0614 at gmail.com. Good morning, everybody. How is everybody doing this morning? Man, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad to be here with you live this morning. It's so exciting. Every Monday and Thursday. 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, we do Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. Hashtag Russ Selfie, where we bring you, I bring you, amazing people who connect. And that is the amazing thing that I love to do, and I get to do that today with my good friend, Rob House, who's in the house. And so I'm so excited to have Rob on here in just a second. But first, before we get there, just wanted to remind you who I am. In case you don't know, and I haven't told you enough, (laughs) I'm Russ Hedge, and I am an inspiration specialist. I'm here to encourage and inspire you. I'm a marketing coach. I do podcasting and live streaming, obviously. I'm a, a keynote motivational speaker. I love people. I love to talk to people. I love to connect with people. You know, the easiest way to connect with me is just to go to RussHedge.com. That's RussHedge.com. And that has all the connections to my uh, to my social media, to my email, to my phone number, to whatever you need. And I would love to connect with you. You can even schedule time right on my calendar to connect with me. We can do a Zoom meeting, meet face to face. I would love to meet you. So if you haven't done that yet, please schedule time at RussHedge.com and let's get together and chat. So that's enough about me. Well, I do want to remind you that I am the author of Befuddled, Live the Life You Choose. And that is an encouraging book. It's available on Amazon. It's available on my website. You can go to buy a book now on my website and pick that up. Um, I have it both in uh, paperback and also an ebook. You can also get my companion workbook off of Amazon that goes along with um, Befuddled. And that would be so great if you would do that. I would appreciate that. So there you go. So that's enough about me. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and bring Rob in and get this show started because I want to hear all about what he's doing. Hey, 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 here's the man. What's up, my brother? Hey, Russ, how you doing, man? I am so good. How are you doing? I'm breathing. So that is a great start to the day. That's how I'm looking at it. (laughs) Amen. Breathing is always a good way to get the day moving. Come on. (laughs) Well, you know, coming off my whole little COVID uh, experience, it's nice to be breathing. It's nice to be moving, and it's yeah. nice to be back among the healthy and the living. So, yeah, I'm man, with you. I'm, 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 I'm glad you came out of there, man. I, I, I was only able to give you a, a call for a few minutes when you were when you were down, but uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you made it out, man. Because a lot of folks, unfortunately, you know, was, took That's a different right. route. Well, I feel blessed by God that we came out of it fairly well and um, didn't end up in the hospital or anything like that. So, what a blessing! And now I can. 
I now they say I'm bulletproof. Mm. Now I have the antibodies and the vaccine. I'm all good to go. So I shouldn't have any problem. Let's rock. Let's rock. <laughs> that's it. That's it. All right. Well, listen, man, I'm so glad to have you on. We already have people joining us this morning. And I uh, just want, well, we got LinkedIn. Oh, there we go. Oh, we have Rachel this morning. Hello. 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 Good to hey, have Rachel. you. Hey, Rachel. So much. Nice to have you here. And uh, we also have, who do we have? LinkedIn user. We don't know who that is, but there you go. They're they're agreeing with you, Rob, about breathing. That's a good yes. thing. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. That's always a plus. And we have, oh my goodness, let's see here. I've got to bounce around. We have Steve Sullivan with us this morning. What's up, Steve? All right. He's already saying hi to people. All right. And uh, yes, man, we got all kinds of people joining us. So, so glad to have everybody on this morning and want to thank you for jumping in. And Rob, I'm going to just start off with you telling everybody a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, everybody probably already knows you, but for those that don't, let's tell them a little bit about Rob yeah. and where you're, what you're doing these days. So thank you, Russ, first of all, man, you know, and me and let's, let's summarize it. Yo, know, right now, it's, so many things that I have done, I've been alive for, for, for a few, several decades. So I've been able to study a lot of different fields from psychology to institute, theology, to marketing, the business development, you know, personal training, all that good stuff. And over the last few years, I've been really hyper-focused on technology. You know, in, in my LinkedIn profile, my title is a humologist. A, hum, a humologist is someone, is the integration of humology, of, of, of humans and technology. That's what humology is. Humans and technology and how we integrate, you know, from a, from a micro level to, you know, on a micro level, of maybe how you use your cell phone to track your steps that allows you to now get your weight and mind and life together. That's the micro. But then on a macro level, how you use automation to automate some of those redundant business processes to, you know, heighten the well-being of people and heighten the efficiency of organizations. So like from micro to macro. So I'm a humologist and an empowerment artist. And empowerment artist, these are all new terms. We're in a new era, Russ. It's a new <laughs> era. It. OK. And so an empowerment artist is someone who just they live their life to empower people. And I do it through the creative arts and however that may be, whether it's content on LinkedIn, videos, um, initiatives, programs, just empowering people. And we empower businesses. We literally empower businesses when they're working at a re redundant level, working with repetitive processes and they're just losing time and efficiency and people and energy. And then we flip the script for them and we empower them and empowerment Russ people all everyone knows how to empower themselves but it's finding the switch to turn it on that's what empowerment is helping people find that switch so that's my life man just helping people and businesses find that switch to turn it on I love that I mean I that is exactly what people need they need that switch to turn it on and get moving and I love about uh, how you're, you know, not only empowering people, but I love this, uh, helping them to move past the redundant processes that are really sucking a lot of their time. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize how much time they're spending. Um, and that's something you and I have to talk about more because you do end up spending so much time with the same things over and over and over. I'm blessed to have a great assistant who is outstanding ever that does a lot of great stuff for me that gives me more time to do things, but mm. automation is just incredible with all you can do. How to tell us a little bit more about that, a little bit more about what you're doing there. Well, so let, let, let's talk about, you know, how, since, since you're a marketing master, let's just talk a little bit about how, how it's, it's called RPA, robotic process automation, but it's such Got a it. funky word. It's just business automation. It's business automation. So let's talk about how you can automate some of your marketing, you know, when you, for, for data management, um, Social media monitoring, you know, like facilitating the transition from uh, legacy systems to, to new technologies, you know, things like that. And get into a flow. When you can get into a flow, then you're more, you, you can operate at a higher level. And so RPA, robotic process automation or auto business automation, allows you to take all the things that are repetitive. You can build logic behind that. So now they just run consistently with no errors and much faster than what a human would have done, right? So now you've heightened your efficiency and now you've made your processes, you've optimized them. And so every, everybody on the planet 
needs to have business automation because there's no reason to do redundant process. There's no reason for to have people doing repetitive work because they can be doing other things. We were gifted. I mean, Russ, it's crazy. We had a, a law firm. It's like three people. Really, it's like two and a half, right? One of them being the actual lawyer. And we were able to save them 40 hours a week. Oh, my goodness. 40 hours. It took us about two and a half weeks, three weeks to, to, to build this out. That was it. And saving them 40 hours. Now, they're adding – they're bringing on more clients. They're operating at a totally different efficiency. They don't have to spend as much time at work. So, see, some people can move to other things, and some, people, and some folks can go home. Hey, how about that? How about saving some time to go home, hang out with the family a little bit? Find a way to get, to get that automation to your life. That's right. I mean, well, that is what, you know, what's a blessing. What I love about you, Rob, is, you know, you are such a, just a great individual and family is important. You know, God's important. The things in our life that we need time for and the more that we are stuck in repetitive processes to keep business moving, the more, the less time we have to do those kind of things. And Mm -hmm. I think that's where it's critical. You're not only helping people's business, but you're also helping their life. Yes. That, and that's the, that's what I care about the most. I mean, honestly, I, I, I love I love business. Uh, I'm a businessman. I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. <laughs> Jay Z's like, <laughs> but I, I love it. I love business, but I love people more. You know, and it's the people that run the businesses. And and honestly, our philosophy is take care of the people, then your process, then add the technology. People, process, then technology. And if you take care of the people, and you take care of the people. And you have good processes, you add the right technology, you're looking like a business that's going to be be around for a while. You know, you're, you're the kind of business that's actually going to impact the world around you in a in, in a nice way. And you're also right. going to inspire other businesses. And, you know, with COVID, this has accelerated the need for people to understand technology. Like it used to be a luxury. Now it's imperative for you to understand the technologies that are most beneficial for your business. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, and it's starting with, it's all about people first. I love that you have, uh, you you know, you have things in the right order. And, you know, I, I just love what you're all about because we all are in business. We all need to, to make a living. We all need to do what we do. But at the same time, we don't need to, we need to remember that it starts with people. And when you can be a blessing and help others, Mm -hmm. you're always going to end up doing well in business in your life. And sometimes what you're in can almost seem kind of like an oxymoron. You're taught you're pushing technology, but then there's the human side. Mm -hmm. But by by pushing and helping people with the technology, which is just critical today, you're giving them more time for the human side. And I just love that. Oh, man, listen, my partner, Wilton, he was meeting with somebody, uh, I think it was last week or the week before, and it was in a gentleman, he was like, oh, I just, you know, he he, he loved what was going on, but it's like, I don't, I just don't have the time, to, I don't have the time to focus on this, I can't, and Wilton said, no, this is what's going to free up your time, right. and then like a light bulb came on for him, I was like, Wilton, I got to use that from now on too, because a lot of people th- think they don't have time to make their processes more efficient. I was like, no, you don't have time to waste. You're like, you, you, like, this is going to give you more time and you can't afford not to do this. So it's like, you just got to shift your mind around. It's almost like the person who wants to get in shape, like, oh, I don't have time to go to the gym. No, you got to make the time because you put the time in now, it's going to help you later. You don't put the time in now, it's going to hurt you later. It's the same in business. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you are so right. And you know, that's something I was thinking about the other day when I, you know, to learn and grow in your business, you have to take time. You've got to learn and grow. You've Mm -hmm. got to, I I was um, going over some material, learning about some new things. I love to continue to learn and to continue to do new things. And so I was going, it took quite a bit of, it took quite a chunk of time. But what I was thinking is I'm putting in the time now I'm learning about this so I can benefit others, so I can benefit my business, all that I'm doing. Yes. Same thing I think about every morning. You just said it. When I go work out at the gym, I'm thinking I'm putting in time to so I have a healthy body, so mm-hmm. I can live a, a productive and a great life and love my family and be around everybody and not be, you know, not be an invalid because I didn't take time to actually take care of myself. Right. Oh, man, you hit the nail on the head a couple times there. (laughs) 
Well, you know, I think every time we talk, this might be the first time for a while that you're not walking. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm always, I love to walk to every morning. I'm walking as well. And my, I have a, I have a beagle. She loves to walk as well. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. She's my cutie, but yeah, it's just amazing how much better you feel when you take care of yourself. It's amazing how much better you feel when you put in time Mm -hmm. with your business and you're learning and you're adapting, you're growing. It's amazing what happens when you put in times that you do things that help your business, improve things, save you so much time later. Oh my goodness. I think that is critical for people to know today. And that's why you, all that you're doing with the automation is so important. Oh man, you hit it, you hit it, you hit it. And and it's it's so good when, when you see the light bulb come on for people. Now it's, we have a, a very high percentage of uh, success rate when people get started Um, because essentially what happens is, you know, you're bringing on a digital employee. You're bringing on a digital employee. Don't think of it like robots. Don't think of it like RPA. Think of it like a digital employee. And this digital employee will do everything you tell it to do faster than you ever thought it could do it with no errors. And now you on the outside can use your brain. Now you can use your mind to think more, to think innovative thing about innovative ideas, technology, strategies, um, networking, sales, and community building, something that humans do, right? It's just, it's it's absolutely amazing, man. So amazing. There's there's only one of you, one of each one of us, and we can only spend so much time doing what we really should be doing. You just talked about it, networking, connecting with people, giving the human side of things. That's it. Because when you have more time to actually reach out, talk, connect, and be with people, that just benefits everything as well, but you got to oh. be able to get the other things done. Mm-hmm. And so those other things, when you're able to automate, like you're talking about, that's that's just awesome. So true. So, so talk about more about humanology. I love that. I love so, that so, whole phrase. Did I so, say it right? Well, yeah, you can you could say it that way. It's, it's so humanology. You know, humanology. There yeah, you go. Humanology is the integration of humans and technology. So mm-hmm. I'm a humanologist. <laughs> you know, one, one, one of the first, one of the first humologists. And the goal is to heighten the understanding of people of how to use the right technologies, how to use them. You know, because, again, there's so much to do, but you're not supposed to do everything. It's right. understanding what to do and then how to do. When you get those together. What in the how? Woo! That's a you, you are light years ahead of most of the world. And so that, that's what we do. And that's what I do. I've been doing that for a while. And, you know, the first technology was, the first technology noted was uh, when two rocks came together and made fire. Like that's technology. Technology is not all digital. Technology is any way that you can advance what you are doing, a scientific methodology of advancing what you're doing. And so finding ways to do that is super important. And now LinkedIn has provided not just a plethora of intelligent leaders, but you got resources out the wazoo. Anything you want to find, you could type it in the search. If you're interested in learning about RPA, let's say you are interested in learning about RPA, you type RPA up in the search in LinkedIn and then click it. Now let's narrow it down. Now click on people. Boom. Now let's click on connections and find your first connection. Let's see if you got any first connections that's talking about RPA. Next thing you know, who from anything, I'll have somebody to talk to you about what you don't know. So it's like Google talked back to you. you now you can search right. anything upon Google, but you don't have a person. So that's what LinkedIn has provided. It's provided this platform with just all these wonderful individuals like you, Russ, who are just waiting to share, like chomping right. at the bit to give insight and resources and services and not necessarily always trying to charge people money of course we got to make money but i'm about helping people man even if i can just give you some education some insight to help you you know shift your thinking a little bit that's a win for me and most likely if you win with me you'll remember me and then if you need something that i have you'll come to me that's kind of the way it works in the social selling world man well, that's it. You know, I mean, I do love that about LinkedIn. I do love the fact that you can actually find people, connect with people. And that's probably the one social media platform where people are really starved for connection and really want to talk. Mm-hmm. You know, there's other ones where people want to type in and say their thing, but they're yeah. not really there to actually talk and be productive. <laughs> like, right. I think LinkedIn is very much more productive in that way. And people yep. really, really want to connect. So true. So true, man. Yeah. 
That's it. That's it. So, oh, oh, oh. So, and we 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 got we got a new websites since last time we talked. It's so funny. So we used to be scaled through automation. It's so interesting. Well, we we are now simply automate, oh, incorporate. Simply automate. Yeah, simply automate. So yeah, and simply it's simplyautomate.com. No, it's simplyautomateinc.com. Yep, okay. simplyautomate. I-N-C. INC.com. It's funny. I, th- I think you might still be able to get there from skilled automation, probably too. But it's good to, to know that. And we we changed it about a couple, maybe about a month and a half or a little more or less ago. And you know, that word "simple" is important. You know, when the more the, the more simplified you can make things for people, the sooner they will be be able to come to an understanding. See, simplification leads to understanding. Understanding leads to taking action. If you don't understand anything, you're like, number one, you're standing off. um, You're judging it and you're running from it because you don't understand it. But if you can understand something and it's so so important, people understand what we're doing. You know, for the first year, no one knew what the heck we were talking about. We were talking about RPA. You you would think we we had three heads speaking different, four different languages. Right. (laughs) You know, and fortunately and unfortunately, again, the pandemic has the the pandemic has done something very interesting to the world, like very negative, obviously. uh, And uh, and my heart goes out to all those who have lost people and everything that has gone on. And at the same time, it's provided us opportunity to get closer to each other and for us to up our game. Right. And so now it's time to up our game. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I think we got it right there, and I have it scrolling across the bottom correctly now. Yep, Did I yep. get that good? Yep, that's it. That's it. Right on. All cool, right. Man. Well, listen, you know, there's one other thing that I we could talk all day long. I mean, I just love talking to you, Rob. You have you have more energy. I think I have a lot of energy till I talk to you. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your music side. We have a few minutes left. Yeah. I want to hear it because you and I have that in common. I want to hear about your music side. Man, Russ, so music has been in me since I can remember even remembering, okay? So I remember like back in the days when I we had these things called tape recorders. Yeah, we had these tape recorders. We had cassette tapes, and I would actually put a cassette tape in, hit record, and I would, boom, make a beat with my hand, and then I'd take that recording, and I, I had another tape recorder, and I'd play that while I'm making another sound. And I would just keep going back and forth and adding. And of course, you know, the quality was terrible. But at that time, it was amazing. And so I learned how to do that at a very early age, how to make my own sounds and music and write my own lyrics. And eventually it became also therapeutic. You know, it was a therapy for me and those around me. I noticed that people looked at it like therapy. So like, oh man. So everywhere I've gone in life, I've always incorporated music from dropping albums. So even when I was a pastor for 10 years, of course, uh, what, what was that called? Holy hip hop, they call it. Um, I did that for, 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 for about 10 years, traveled the country, you know, youth conferences. And then of course, in any work that I'm doing, incorporating into my work, I've done obviously podcasts, uh, promos for people like Mark Metry and you know, Lisa Nichols, I did a, a song for her movie. Of course, you know, just anywhere I can incorporate my gift of being able to create and then sharing it with someone to uplift them. I, I'm looking for it. So that's kind of been my, my life man, over the last, you know, 40 something years. Well, you are very uplifting. And, um, you know, I just am honored to be able to call you friend and you have just been just really positive impact in my life. And I appreciate you so much and all that you're doing. Russ, I appreciate you, man. Um, I appreciate what you're doing, how you show up. And listen, you know, I, I say to myself, if everyone did what you did, how would the world be? That's a good thing for everyone to really think about. You know, if everyone did what you did, how would the world be? And think about that with every action that you take. Russ, you're one of those people that I could say, I think the world be in a great, great place. So I appreciate you, man. Well, thank you. And that is a great, that is a great thing. I mean, you know, your impact on the world is, is just way beyond what anybody really realized. We are all influencers. We're influencing people around us every day. Mm-hmm. Everybody's leading in one way or another. So the way you act and the things you do are so important. And I believe that hundred percent. So, Hey, as we uh, unfortunately got to start wrapping things up, uh, I need for you to you get a last word and give us your contact information so people know how to get in touch with you. So final word is this. 
you know, the future is what you do today. Okay. The future is what you do today. Now, remember, the present is a gift. That's why it's the same word. If you type the word present into your phone, you'll get the gift, gift. If you type the word gift into your phone, you'll get the gift, gift. So the present is the gift. But the, but the future is what you do today. That means the present is the most important thing. So take action. Live in this moment. Don't get too caught up in the past. Don't get, don't get, don't get too, too far in the future. Maximize this moment. Really analyze it. And that comes down to introspection. Right. So I would c- encourage everyone to introspect on yourself, introspect on your business, and then take the proper action. All right. Awesome. And and the best way to find me is, is LinkedIn. LinkedIn, I, I'm, I'm living there. It's a great place. And if you're not there, you should definitely be there. Over 700,000 people and only 2% are content creators. That means you need to come on there and start making some content because people are watching and they're looking. All right. And get in contact with us if you have a business. If you have a business to any extent, talk to me because I'm sure based off our conversation, I can help you heighten the efficiency of your process flow. 100% guaranteed. Yeah. Oh, I agree with you 100%. I agree with you because just the just the, um, uh, just the idea, if people sit and think about that, how much time they're spending each day on areas that they could have something else or somebody else doing mm-hmm. as opposed to focusing on what they need to focus on. And so I agree with you 100%. You mm. are amazing, Rob House, and yeah. I appreciate you coming on today. I'm thankful, thankful for you, and uh, we're going to have to do this again for sure. I'm down like James Brown, man. Just let me know, Russ. All right. Well, listen, I'm going to wrap things up for today. Hang tight. I'm going to send you back out to the green room. Cool. See you in just a sec here. All right, man. Okay. All right, everybody. Listen, thank you. Thank you so much for being here today, man. I appreciate all the comments, all the activity and engagement today, because that's what it's all about. We are all better together. We all work better together. We all live life better together. And your future is now, as Rob said, today is the first day of the rest of your life. You need to take care of yourself today. You need to take action, do amazing things today, because you know what? You are an amazing individual and you can do amazing things today. So if I can help out at all, again, go to RussHedge.com. RussHedge.com, I would love uh, to touch base with you. Also, make sure that you connect with Rob. We'll get all of his information in the show notes. And last but not least, I want to give one last shout out Uh, to our great, great sponsors today. You know, my mom, for those of you that don't know, my mom has Alzheimer's. So that's really near and dear to my heart. Every year there's a walk to end Alzheimer's. You know, there is no cure for Alzheimer's. There's there's, uh, cures for so many diseases, but not for Alzheimer's. So they are working for the one day when there will be a cure. And the one in uh, Albany, Oregon, that's close to me, is coming up on the 25th. Um, And that is at Timberland Park. So anybody that's in that area, I encourage you uh, to go to that. Also, you can go to ALZ.org and you can find a walk in your area. That's ALZ.org. So go there, look for a walk in your area. And uh, that is just, you know, so, so important to to be there for our loved ones that, you know, are struggling with this horrible disease. Also wanted to thank, again, Jamie Annie with Mortgage First Corporation. Jamie, great friend. Love her. She can help you with all your mortgage needs. So thanks to both of them. So again, just wanted to thank everybody for being here today. And uh, I think we might even have, yeah, there's some more comments in the comment. You guys need to take a look at those and keep, keep it going. Share this. Please, please, please share this with your friends. You know, I had said earlier, that's my website, russhedge.com. Please go to YouTube and subscribe. You can share that with other people. And that would be so fabulous for me. I just appreciate all of you being here. And until we speak again on Monday and Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, have a great day. Have a great life. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Marketing with Russ, a.k.a. hashtag Russ Selfie. Be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss a single episode. Have an amazing day.